I'd like to spare a thought for all of those veterans who are alive today and the ones who have passed and take a journey back in history and just reflect on the horrible carnage of the First and Second World Wars. The years between 1914 and 1945 were the most deadly in history. The total of military deaths and civilian casualties in First World War was about 40 million. Estimates range from around 15 to 22 million deaths and about 23 million wounded military personnel, ranking it as one of the most deadliest conflicts in human history. And then, of course, not being content to find peace after the First World War, it happened again in 1939. The total of death from that particular um, conflict was estimated between 70 and 85 million people perished. Deaths directly caused by the war included military and civilian fatalities and were estimated between 50 and 56 million with an additional 19 to 28 million deaths from war-related disease and famine. Civilians totaled 50 to 55 million and military deaths from all causes totaled between 21 and 25. Over half of those were in the Republic of China and the Soviet Union. All the current freedoms that we enjoy in Western countries have been paid for in blood by the soldiers who died in these two conflicts. And Anzac Day is a day that we can pause and honour the fallen, but also remember the terrible cost of those two conflicts. It's not only the soldiers that paid that cost, but also many, many civilians, men, women and children. So sometime today, pause for a minute and just reflect on the wonderful gift that these people gave us, the gift of freedom. And to the current serving diggers around the world who keep peace, and also the, the diggers from the Vietnam and Korean conflicts, I would be laxed not to remember the men and women that went to Afghanistan and the many other places around the world where Australian soldiers have served. I must also spare a thought for the many soldiers that came home broken men and women and then finished up taking their own lives because they couldn't handle the horrors that they'd endured during their service. The horrible thing that's, that these people endured that took many, many years for them to get over and some never got over it at all. We need to remember and as you're having your Anzac Day barbie or you're out at one of the uh, marches or if you're out playing two up or whatever you do on Anzac Day, 
raise a drink and spare a thought for the wonderful people that gave you the freedoms that you're enjoying today. And in that vein, I'd like to offer a prayer. God of love and liberty, we bring our thanks this day for the peace and security we enjoy, which was won for us through courage and devotion of those who gave their lives in this time of war. We pray that their labour and sacrifice may not be in vain, but their spirit may live on in us and in generations to come, that the liberty, trust and justice which they sought to preserve may be seen and known by all nations upon the earth. This we pray in the name of the one who gives his life for the sake of the world, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And last, let us remember the ode. They shall not grow old as we who are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them, lest we forget. To any of the service people that may hear this video, thank you for your service. To the brothers and sisters who never came home, thank you for your service. God bless and have a great day. This has been Philip Gale and you've been listening to Morning Thought Farm. Bye for now.